some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today's video is uh, brought to us by uh, Florida Cop Camp, so go ahead and head on over to their channel and give them a subscribe. But at any rate, we have a uh, sovereign citizen who turns a minor traffic violation into a pursuit back to his camp and, uh, well, all sorts of shenanigans ensue, including his own arrest. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax. And enjoy the show. You know what would really make this chase interesting? Some interesting music. So let's go ahead and play my intro music. That way it can be a bit more exciting. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, wrong one. That was my first intro theme. Let's try another one. Oops, wrong one again. Uh, that was my second uh, intro theme. Uh, let's. Uh, oh yeah, here it is. Here's my main intro theme currently. Oh, congratulations, Sovtard. You've probably just won the grand prize of stupidity by fleeing and eluding this officer, which could win you up to five years in prison if you are an idiot and decide to go pro se. Okay, I'm waiting for you to put your leg in. Fuck ain't no room, bro. Then you gotta put your leg in. I'm gonna have to dude. close this door, bro. Oh. <laughs> You're something else, man. Okay. Alright. Yep. Okay. Alright. <clears throat> dude. <clears throat> Alright, man. So this is what I got. What you got, Playboy? Yeah, the Miranda rights for me or not? Read it to me. Okay. Am I being so, entertained right now? Then yes, read it to me. Detained. Then read me my uh, rights. You have an unregistered motor vehicle. Read me my rights. Just do it for the camera. Is it on? Just read it. I don't have nothing to read your rights. I'm not asking you <laughs> questions other than your name. <laughs> yeah. So awesome. what's your name? Read me my rights. You already know who I am. Everybody knows who I know you your am. name. Read Cody. me my rights, bro. Read me me rights. Tell it to me. It's what are my Miranda rights? It's not how it works, man. Oh, it does how it works. It's not how it works. In this you, country, it does. You have a perception Read of how it, it works. Me. It's not how it works. You have a perception how your life works. Okay, so I just need your name and date of birth. I'll I catch you a ticket and we can be done with this. I just need my Miranda rights. Read them to me now. 
I told you, if you don't want to uh, do it, stop. no. Hey, moron, you only get your edge your rights uh, when you get arrested. Right now, you're just being detained. There is a difference, you giblet head. All right, fine. See ya. <clears throat> Read them to me. No, yes, sir, you good. Um, the guy that's being a problem, he's detained right now. So, the uh, passenger on detained him, he was very cooperative. Um, but the guy back here, he doesn't want to give me his name or anything, so just waiting to see what you guys would like me to do. Uh, he kept going by probably about three quarters of a mile to a mile with my lights on. I was hitting my siren and everything. Mm -mm. He, didn't, he didn't have a driver's license on him. Yep. Yeah, he can go. Yeah, it's two people, passenger are undetained because, he's, like I said, he's being cooperative with me. Um, they're at their campsite. So... Yeah, okay. Well, if he doesn't want to give me his name, he... They call his name yet? Wow, this just keeps getting more and more interesting. Apparently, he was uh, waiting a uh, court hearing in a Zoom call uh, when he was getting arrested just now, or detained, or whatever. But, yeah... Dude, uh, yeah, committing crimes while you're all in the middle of a trial? Yeah, not exactly the smartest guy out there, is he? But of course, I guess this guy considers himself a freedom fighter, so to probably somebody like him, a sovereign citizen, freedom fighter, there is no such thing as committing a crime, apparently, to the, uh, somebody like him. Is your dog friendly? Yeah, yeah, she's cool. She's old, man. Okay. Hey, baby girl. Hey, baby girl. Hey, baby girl. It's cold out here, ain't it? Yeah. All right, man, so this was going to happen. He doesn't want to give me his name. He's more than likely going to go to jail. Okay. Uh, more than likely going to tell the truck, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah? He, he ran for me. I, I, no, I, I hear you. I hear you. I mean, you know this. You, I, mean, I, I, I can't do nothing about it. Yeah, you, 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 you yourself told me you heard my siren. Yeah, I know. I know. And I'm sure you heard me when I got on the PA pulled over, you being pulled over. Well, he threw his hands out there, though. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Now, even at one point in time, I got really close to his side so he could hear oh, me. I didn't even see that. So, yeah. But. It's not possible for any man other than it's not my stuff, to be I mean. the child's father. We're going to establish paternity. Department's going to follow up with the order. Um, we're going to adjudicate the child oh, dependent. Mom if, was uh, intelligent and voluntarily entered her you gotta do what you gotta case do, man. plan. Okay. We're I can't stop you. I mean, <laughs> well, no, I can do everything under the law at this moment. He, he ran from me. I ain't going to jail, too. No, yeah. <laughs> I don't have no reason to take you to jail, buddy. I, you just gotta understand that what I was. Yeah, no, no, I get it. I get it. I get it. I'm being brought to a strange place. I don't know. You could have easily pulled over. This could have been a ticket and we would have been done with it. <laughs> You'll have to excuse my friend. He's a little slow. Yeah, I would have to say he's a little slow at this point, considering that. He was on the phone with this Zoom call for the custody of his children, and he was committing crimes while doing this. Uh, not exactly the sharpest knife in the drawer, so I'm sure that the judge will rule against him in this. I mean, I'm sure a lot of judges would. Well, so going jail and the truck. No, possibly. I don't know yet. Possibly. I can't believe you guys want to talk with this guy some more. I mean, you know, the state's already taking his kids, but... I will cover Miss Smith in this case. His wife's in jail. I hate it for him, man. I know. I do, I do too. I literally just told him, I said, all I need is your, your name, date of birth. I give you a ticket. We can be done with this mess. I'm trying to be as cool as possible. Given that opportunity and still wouldn't do it. 
Yeah, yeah I think I'm, I'm about past it. All right. Hey, no, I, I feel you. Along with the mother. I feel you. So, if he doesn't want to give me his name, then he can go to jail under. Can I talk to him? Yeah, come on. I'll let you talk to him. Send, send to him. As of right now, he's gonna remain detained. I'm probably, I'm pretty sure he's, he's, he, I'm gonna take him. Why you give him the what you want? Where you let him go? I already gave him the opportunity too many times, sir. Hey man. He won't give him no rights. I've asked him. You read him his rights? You don't have to. I don't have, I'm not asking incriminating questions. Okay. Let it go. Alright, look. Look, you be quiet. This works two ways, right? Okay. You give a little, he gives a little. That's all. No, I know. I'm I not, know. I'm I know. Not I know. I know. Look, I know. I'm not gonna feed into him. Okay. I'm not asking incriminating okay. questions. Other than I'm all. I, all I'm asking is, what is your name and what is your date of birth? Right. Right. And all he's asking is for you to read him his civil rights. It, it, it doesn't. Simple, it, it, simple, there's simple, man. Do you understand what rights are I for? Know. Right. I understand that. And you understand so what it, I'm saying. Hypothetically speaking, if I was to present a situation to you. So if, I, if you was to commit a crime and I was to ask you why you did that crime, that's an incriminating question. Then I will have to read you your rights. If I say, hey man, what's your name? So I can write you this ticket and be done with it. A ticket is a civil infraction. Okay? I understand that. I understand that. So you know, I'm not asking have, no incriminating you questions. You have to understand this and I'm not approaching it. No, I'm you not get, trying to. I, if I felt well, threatened, you'll know it. So you have to understand this. His kids have been taken by this state, okay? His wife just took his kids and tried to get his kids back, okay? There's a whole lot of situation going on here with this man, and he's already thought of doing a number of different things that we've tried to just keep him in civil. And look, and I, and I do and understand it, and I sympathize with him, okay, that his kids have been taken by the state. But I'm going to tell you like this. It could, this could have been easily avoided. He stops, I give him a ticket, he goes on his way. Still can be if you just, you know, have a civil heart. And obviously, right there, Captain. obviously you just want to, you know, you want to be an officer rather than a civil officer. You just passed me. That's all. Okay, uh, he's having his kids taken away from him. Why is he having his kids taken away from him? Is he a danger to them? I mean, that opens up a lot of questions that I would love to know. I mean, sure, his wife is in jail now. Uh, she tried to take custody away from him. Is he a danger to them? What's the whole thing right there? I mean, if he's this way around the police officer, kind of makes you wonder what he's like behind the scenes. In addition, you were also saying that you've had to try to keep him civil quite a bit. I mean, this guy just seems unstable all the way around, and you're just keeping his lid on temporarily. Okay. I want you to read my eyes, bro. Can you do that? Because that's not how it works in the state of Florida. Uh, because you're not know, in the state of set. Nigga, I'm on the state. What the fuck you talking about? I want to hear that. Read me my rights. Say it. I'm camera. Read me my rights. 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 Everybody knows me, man. I'm a freedom fighter. I am the guy that's doing it. Read me my rights. Read it to me. Freedom fighter. What do you mean by freedom fighter? Man, what the fuck you think freedom means? You stupid? Uh, yeah, uh, you're a freedom fighter. Uh, how's that working out for you? I mean, you're hiding in the middle of a, uh, campsite trying to do what now? How is this fighting for who, what? Where, when, how, why? I mean, what's your deal? Because in the end, I think you're just uh, some, uh, uh, well, lame softard who thinks he knows the law when, well, in reality, you you couldn't even pass a, uh, well, eighth grade uh, exam on the Bill of Rights. 
say freedom, say free first. Can you do that? I don't know what that means. <laughs> you don't know what free means. Me neither. Me means. neither. What Me neither. A, what is a freedom fighter? <sighs> Somebody like me, that asks you to read me your Miranda rights. Can you not pull your book out? Not to have it. It should save my rights, shouldn't it? I just need your name and date of birth. For I just days. need you to tell me my freedom. Tell it to me. Pull it out. I'm, let, I'm trying to let you go and give you your freedom. <laughs> you have to let me go, bro. I'm the fucking coolest guy on the planet. No, you're not. Give my freedom. Oh, I ain't? No, you're not. Are you? I, I give me freedom. my Miranda rights. Say it. Say it to me. I want you to tell me my rights. You're obligated to do so, sir. I am not obligated to do so. Okay, so you don't know rights. I'm not asking you any incriminating rights. Why are you wearing that star? Huh? I'm not asking you any Why are you wearing that star? All I'm asking you is that give me your And all I'm asking for is my Miranda. Tell me my rights. Tell me what they are. Because I'm an idiot. I don't know anything, right? I'm a dumb mother. So I want you to tell me what my rights are. Tell me. Well, now, at least you admit that uh, you're a total moron when it comes to knowing your rights. Now, that's the first step to recovery. The next step is actually educating yourself in what your rights actually are and understanding that the Miranda warning is really only read when you're uh, being arrested or you have to a answer incriminating questions or anything like that. Like the officer said, uh, yeah, so just repeating the same thing over and over again is pretty much the definition of insanity right there. you doing the same thing and expecting different results. Yeah, that's the very definition of insanity right there. Can you do that? Do I have the right to what? I'm still asking. Come on, brother. You can do it. Oh, whatever, man. Okay, we'll figure it out. Go on, bro. It's already recorded. Go on, bro. <coughs> yeah, I was using the commission of a crime. He ran for me. Oh, I thought you just said he didn't commit a crime. Well, I, I, so that's why he didn't. No, 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 no. I said this could have been avoided by a civil infraction. Okay, but you said he didn't commit a crime. That's why he didn't want to read his rights. I said it could have been avoided by a civil infraction. He had the chance to give me his name so I can give him a civil infraction. I said I have not decided yet whether I'm going to charge him or not. More than likely, I am going to charge him. So and then if I charge him, I will tow that truck because he ran for me. you will read him his rights. I haven't decided to charge him yet. But then okay. you will read his rights. If I do, yes. Okay, that's all, right. all he's asking for now. Well, he could have avoided this with a ticket. Is this your that's what I'm trying to tell him. All right, do me a favor. Go stand up there real quick. Well, at this point, we have the supervisor who shows up and tries to explain it to them as far as what the Miranda is all about. But they just don't seem to get it. None of them do as far as these soft cards go. Yes, sir. Were you the passenger? No, sir. He was the passenger. Okay. All right, where's the vehicle? That's the vehicle. Whose vehicle is it? It, it, it? it comes back to nobody. Okay. It's on register. No, no data on file. He's in the back. If you want to see, maybe you can want to talk to him. He wants me to read him his rights, but all I told him is, like, dude, you give me your name and name and date of birth, I'll give you a ticket. He done with it. I'm, I'm just I, what you're butting into our in, a, in our our official business. So, babe, go ahead with your with your question. Are you his senior? Officer? Yes, sir, I am. The gentleman just wants his rights right. Does he not know his rights? I don't have to read him his rights if we don't ask him. Sure. That's all he wanted. That's okay. all that gentleman was asking. But do you understand that I'm not asking incriminating I, questions? Do you know that I've arrested hundreds of people that? And sometimes we don't have to read them rights unless we ask them questions and use that against them in court. So if I just arrest him, put him in a car, take him to jail, I never have to read my rights. 
But I'll be sure. glad that I'll read him his rights and print them out and give it to him Mom's and have a lesson. And I'm not trying to be oh, smart. I know. I didn't. I know. I didn't even know. All, that. all, all he yeah. was asking was, if you'll read me my rights, I'll give you the information okay. you want. He wouldn't read his rights. Leave him alone. Oh, okay. Hey, hey, hey. But that's hey, fine. Hey, but let me ask you. Leave him alone because it's cold out here yeah. and I've been sitting out here. Who, are, do you know the individual in there? Does he, is he your relative or what? He's an acquaintance. Friends. Okay. He's an acquaintance. Okay. Oh, and I was just trying to help the officer out because I went over to talk to him and said, what's yeah. the he well, said, if you'll read me my rights, I'll tell him what he wants to know. We'll read. So yeah. I was just going to help him out. He, he come I was out. just trying to help him out. Oh, yeah, through. no, that's cool. And we'll be glad to read him his rights. But, but obviously, we're, we're wasting. He's in, he's in cuffs in the back of a car because he, he did something wrong. And I had to come from 20 miles away worried about my officer getting hurt. But I appreciate you. And no, no, like I said, I'm not being offensive and I'm not trying to be. Now, sir, whose car is this? His. His, okay. Wait. Thank you. Well, Let me go. Uh, he's supposedly in court. Uh, it comes back to yeah, nothing. He's in his court. He's he's supposedly in the court hearing. Who is? He is. Oh, I didn't know. No, that. not me. Not me. Him. He's supposed to be in court. court. He's, he's waiting in line. And they haven't called his name yet, but he's for so what's the court? For child protective services. Ah, uh, so child protective services is involved in this whole thing. Uh, kind of makes me wonder about you, dude. But at any rate, uh, they try to give this guy a break, but will it go anywhere? Probably not. So let's find out. Before we talk to him, so if we say something, come right now. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right, I'm going to read you something. Because you, you are going to be charged for something. Okay? Mm -hmm. you, have to remain, you have the right to remain silent. Mm -hmm. Anything you say can be used against you in court. You have the right to talk to a lawyer mm -hmm. for advice before we ask you any questions and to have him with you during questioning. If you cannot afford a lawyer, one will be appointed to you or for you before any question if you wish. If you decide to answer any question if you decide to answer questions without a lawyer present, you will still have the right to stop answering any time. Okay. You also have the right to stop answering any time until you talk to a lawyer. Mm -hmm. Do you understand each of these rights I've explained to you? Oh, thank you. Appreciate that. Yes or, yes or no? I always know. You do not understand the rights? Oh, I understand. So that's a yes or a no? Yeah. I don't understand anything. No. Okay. We'll figure it out. Well, All right. So right now you're being placed under arrest for fleeing and looting, oh. and you're going to be booked under the jail for John Doe since you don't want to give me your name. Interesting. All right. Okay. Thank you, sir. And yeah, then uh, you'll be it. you'll remain okay. in. Okay. All right. I got you'll you. remain in the jail till you are. Save your time. All right. Okay. You are. Uh, All right. Identify. Yeah. All right. Step out for me. I got to take everything out of your pockets. <laughs> Well, now, that was a huge waste of time, considering that uh, he decided to go with that classic Sovtard fallback line, I don't understand. And you wonder why they use that? Because that's uh, supposed to be a key word within Sovtard jargon, meaning uh, I don't uh, stand under, under you or something like that. Uh, but you know what? In reality, it just means to comprehend. But of course, these Sovtards don't comprehend normal everyday language. So it really gets him into trouble in this case. Step it set. You, you don't have to go say you're under arrest. I know, I know. Everything I don't have out of your pockets. Right? You don't beat me up anyway. <laughs> Everything out of your pockets, please, sir. Okay, what is this? The, uh, what is this? The, All right, go stand in front of him. Okay, Real quick. hold on now. Hold on now. I'm not pulling you, man. I'm oh, not doing right right anything. I already know. I already know. No, no. I'm here. Yeah, I already know the way it goes. Yep, go and get it. Get it. I'm not resisting, by the way. All right? Am I still not resisting? You're not resisting. You're being nope. recorded. Okay, very good. good. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get resisting for some fucking apparent reason. You guys do. Uh-huh. Y'all got a good rap. Look at that. Not very good. Yep, make sure that comes back to me. Sir, and then yours. Let me ask you, do you want any of this property to go to your friend or your roommate there? Yep, give it to my boy. Okay. Right there. Alright, give okay. it a second. Here, bro. We'll give my, to the second. Alright, don't call him over here. Stay over there for me. Oh. I'll call you over here in a second, okay? We'll, we'll call Thank him you. over here and let him get it right in front of you. Alright. Go and get it, boys. What's that? A whole lot of what? Good evidence, isn't it? For who? For who? Who's that good evidence for? Yeah. Oh, what's that? 
What's up? Oh, the tractor keys and all that shit. Y'all made us happy about each other. Stay up. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Wow, there you go. There's my first guilt right there. Look. Hey, man, hey, chill out. Dude, I'm chill not out. resisting. Oh, uh, just, okay. just let me do that, please. The fuck, yeah. Uh, fuck. Yeah, teach your boy about that, man. Oh. Alright, come on. Okay, there we go. Okay, wait, please. Alright, I'm going. Oh, hold on, stay right here so you can see what we get, what he gets to his friend. Sir? Come on, get my gold. My pappies. Come on, shit. What do you want him to, to take? I want him to take all of it. Okay. Well, it ain't so bad once you get over here in the sun yeah. now, is it? Sir, if you would, he requests that you hold on to that till he gets out. Yep, put it on camera. Put it in the hand oh, whatever will help you put it all together. Take care of my dog, man. Come on. See you in a minute. Uh, I love you. Can we write a phone number on his hand? Oh, fuck that. You don't want dad's number? I don't, know, I don't do all this shit. I don't want dad's number. You niggas ain't getting no numbers. They ain't getting shit from me, bro. dad's phone number so you can call us? I don't know. I don't want shit. All right. I'll see you in a minute. Fuck these motherfuckers, bro. Go gas bitches. Okay. Go ahead. Get the chain. Get the chain, too. You want the chain? All right. Let me get the chain. Well, let me get the chain. Yeah, because that... Put that in the locker if you don't. I appreciate it, sir. I love you. I appreciate you all, too. Thank you for your hospitality. Yep. All right. See you boys in a minute, right? Talk to feeding. Oh, I got to talk to him, bro. Are we going to the Sally? Nice. Let's go. Come on now. You see how it's going to work out for you. Y'all don't do this again now. I ain't playing this game again. Y'all know better. Easy, your speeding guy. So where you come from, man? Guatemala or some shit? <laughs> Boy, I bet you're a big hit with the ladies. Not. Give it to me. Huh? What else you gonna do? Hope you're proud of yourself, boy. Well, I guess I missed that court date for my children, huh? So I guess you guys just, uh, get who's playing that, right? <laughs> it's unbelievable. It just happens. No, oh, yeah, we just randomly, uh, yeah, we randomly do stuff. Randomizers, you know, we just do routine traffic snaps and whatnot. Sorry, boys. Get me. We'll see who gets. What's going on? Hey, you ain't getting your interpreter. Sullivan? Huh? I just seen your... Huh? I just seen your son last night. Shit. What happened? He's one of his buddies got pulled over. Oh, yeah? Yeah. He wasn't in trouble though. He's doing good. You asked me if I seen you lately. Now you want coming back, man. What's up? We stayed here for a month. I hope so. He said that last time. What you got there, I got one of them. He's refusing to identify himself. He's gonna be booked under John Doe. I figure I'll let you deal with that, buddy. Yes. Come on. Okay. All right, sexy. How you looking? Looking good. Ready to give it to me? Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, now this guy is just. 
Well, screwed all the way around, missed an important court date because of his own stupidity. Uh, now he's blaming it on the officers. I mean, just a typical sovereign citizen who just won't accept responsibility for his own actions. Uh, yeah, just another day for another moron like this. Yeah. But you know what? Here's some advice for you. Maybe if you t uh, cleaned yourself up a little bit and uh, took responsibility for your actions and everything like that, maybe you'd have better outcomes in life. It's, it's just a suggestion. You don't have to take the advice. Uh, though your path that you're taking right now just doesn't seem to be working out for you. So you may need to take somebody's advice, but... Take something, do something differently than what you're doing. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?